up everybody Jester here um, bit of a 3k a day update it's my uh, third week tomorrow will be my fourth day again a little bit tired in the legs today uh, my knees are really hurting but I think I'm coming down with something a little bit sore in the back of the throat so I still done me 3k's today um, I done a walking pace so 38 minutes it took me 3.2 k's but I got some stuff done during it I had to drop the car off and get the uh, bushes all replaced on it that's all fixed she's going good now um, this afternoon I've just come up to the park at the bottom of the M7 um, just getting a bit of time lapse done on the sun beautiful sunset this afternoon um, just a little Time out by myself, trying to make myself feel a little bit better, taking the sun's rays and you know, just enjoy the afternoon. Yeah. They're quiet up here. clouds there behind the horizon felt the cold come in straight away so oh, maybe I should have brought a jumper I'm still gonna wait till it gets dark but back on the 3k a day challenge I have been going well Saturdays Sundays Fridays every day I've been doing it um, I think I'm averaging about four and a half k's now for the half an hour the 3k turnaround splits are still between the 17 and 20 minute marks, so I hit that really easy, just bludgeoning along. Um, the hardest thing is getting it done every day. Plenty of excuses not to, but set the challenge, how it's gonna happen. So I'm going really good with that. Um, what have I noticed on the body, apart from the sore knees that I mentioned earlier? Uh, five kilos off the waist, used to be 78, pushing 79, now I'm down to 73 give or take depending on the day, time of the day and that's just in two and a half weeks this is my third week so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to go start again on Monday easy done enjoying it where do you guys like to run? I've been running around my local area lately uh, Liverpool doing a few tracks where I used to hang out when I was a wee little lad when I was about uh, from eight years old up to when I was a teenager I suppose just the local creeks um, they have changed a fair bit. Um, the bridge missing on one of them. Can't even get into the field anymore. Don't know why they took that down, but there is access out the back. But they, uh, that used to be the old cricket pitch. Um, I don't think I've got any photos of that one. I'll have to do some ones down there again and uh, put it up on the next post. So I'm just going to sit back, enjoy this, wait till it gets dark, then go home. I might have something to eat. So I had a late lunch. Till the next vlog. Thanks guys. Can you believe it? We are in Liverpool and old Jumpy Joe just came out of the bush. Let's see if we can get down close to him. See if they're friendly or not. Come here, Jumping Joey. Uh, hey, um, quick question to all your photographers out there. I've got a real problem of when I've got a uh, a time lapse set up that um, I get really impatient and I can I stop it early just so I can start the next shoot. So rather than buy a camera, a second camera so I can spool around, I've developed this idea of keeping a ball, <laughs> a ball in my camera bag to keep me occupied while I'm waiting. So apart from buying a second camera, because I've already got the GoPro, I've got the phone, I've got the main camera. Rather than buying a fourth camera, what are your tips for keeping yourself busy while waiting for your time lapse? I'd like to hear from you, drop it below. Thank you. Focus. Yeah, there we go. I think I might actually have that 